dusty, it's dirty, this is a really tight space. Uh, no one needs your side okay. smile right okay. about now. It's time to get serious. Matt made a blooper. They don't got it. We, we got problems. Oh, good time. Yeah. At the end of the day, I don't care. We're not turning back. I'm Kristen, and this is Matt. We've spent the last four years sailing our $5,000 Craigslist boat to some of the most beautiful places in the Caribbean. From spearfishing in South Andros, Bahamas, staying in a treehouse and riding horses through the rainforest of the Dominican Republic, to even dodging hurricanes in Puerto Rico. We could have never imagined what this adventure would become. After gaining more sailing experience, we knew we had to make some serious upgrades to our boat if we wanted to keep this journey going. So we decided to go all in with our 40-year-old boat and get a new engine. We soon realized that we were in for more projects than we originally planned on. There's going to be some major changes coming up, so hit subscribe and join us for the journey. What's up guys? Welcome back to Sailing GBU. Today we have some exciting things going on. We are jumping back into our galley and we are cleaning some things up. We finally have gotten our countertops into a spot where we can pour our epoxy top. Epoxy top, is that what it's called? Yeah, like Rocky top, epoxy top. <laughs> or epoxy top. Anyways, we're ready for that and hopefully we can do our booze locker and our kitchen and then we're done with the countertops and we can put these aside so we don't ruin them during the rest of our refit. So this is gonna be a big thing off of our plate. We have a lot more projects planned to do also. We're gonna see how much we can get done today, but the hard part is we have to bring these upstairs to our Airbnb because of dust and stuff can fly into them, so. And it's not level here. That's the main reason we couldn't yeah. pour them here because it's gonna slip slop side to side. And I fine tuned these because I obviously want them to be perfect and I don't want them down here. Obviously we hit them all the time. Cheech hit it with the whole engine when he brought the engine in here and I was like, dang dog, that's cold blooded. So we're gonna get them somewhere safe. Then we can finish with the lamination and then we can bring those back kind of last thing and they're gonna be mm, so delicious and beautiful and smooth. So we're gonna get right into that. Come with us on this wild journey. here I got this stage area set up so that I can have the room got all the plastic so nothing gets messed up I got plenty of room to get around everything get it all primed up and painted a little bit of sanding then I'm going to prime it because what we learned last time is that we couldn't get the opacity right and if you just prime it it covers up the bondo stains a lot better and it makes it a nice smoother whiter finish also show some blemishes as well if I have to touch them up so I'm gonna get it painted and then it's epoxy time. it's painted how do you feel about it looks good gives a little bit of texture so it gives that at bossy something a little better to grab against and uh gonna work really well everything's white the epoxy opacity is gonna cover everything else that i didn't get perfectly and that's gonna be that it's gonna be are you nervous to attempt epoxy pouring all of these at once <sighs> i guess not we'll see him shaking his britches when we get it going I'll be honest with you, I don't care anymore. If it comes out boo-boo, it comes out boo-boo. I'll karate chop it in half. All right guys, so I've got everything painted, everything leveled, I'm set it up. I'm sweating pretty bad out here. You know, old Uncle Manny gets nervous before he does his good old- I epoxy told you tops. you were nervous. <laughs> good old epoxy tops. 
some epoxy pops tanning on the sea. Anyway, uh, I'm ready to go and I'm ready for my first pass. The reason I'm really actually not nervous is because I know this is going to take more than one pass. A lot of people do this epoxy thing and they act like it's a one and done pour, beautiful mirror sheet. That has not been my experience, but I'm not a world renowned epoxier. So I'm ready for the first pass and then that first pass will show me some mistakes that I'll have to fix, I'm sure, and then two or three layers and we should have a beautiful, thick, strong epoxy countertop. with the way the kitchen piece came out but I mixed enough epoxy because I wanted to have it all one color um, and that might have been a problem I should have just done the kitchen the insets for that and then done the booze locker separately and the inset for that because by the time I got down to that my epoxy had set up uh -oh. quite a bit already so it's a little bit lumpier over there I'm hoping maybe it lays out I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun one more time and hope that it lays out a little bit more and there's no bubbles but and he sweated into one, guys. Yeah, I drip sweat. I was super sweaty. But I'm happy about the kitchen one. The only problem that I didn't really think about ahead of time was that this had a million little angles and edges. There's probably 30 feet of linear edge on this one piece. So I had to make sure the edges were rolling over well. So it took me a long time on that one. That one looks really good, actually. But the booze locker took the hit. But it doesn't matter. I can always figure it out later and... You know, we have infinite, infinite time. You know, this is this is one of those things in life where you have to say, you know, Matty Boy, you're 137, you're a young man, you got plenty of time. But I'm looking out this wonder and I'm thinking I want to go swimming. Let's go swimming. Go Let's get a beer right, and go swimming. guys we made it we're at the blue lagoon you you mine for me too. matt brought a half of a grapefruit for some weird reason but now we get to chill and i'm feeling it you're feeling it huh i mean we're kind of in the mangrove muck right now but that's because we gotta connect our gopro somewhere guys the gopro makes a great place for that or the mangroves excuse me makes a great place for that but yeah i brought my grapefruit because you gotta put grapefruit in this beer it's a grapefruit beer and it needs citrus. It's a this wheat. This isn't grapefruit beer. Yeah, it is. Tangerine. Nah, that's a grapefruit. He's lying. Anyways. Can you open it so I can splash mine in there? Matt's not doing so well, guys. He's a little overwhelmed about his countertops. So we had to take a time out. I'm far from overwhelmed. I was just. Okay, I, that I'll, might not have been the right word. I'll tell you that I am frustrated. Um, you know, it's just. I have all that stuff all over my living area, so which means I have to lock Bear in the room, which she hates. I have to 
not lock her in the room. She's in the room with all of her food and litter box and stuff. She's yeah, that inside. sounded like animal abuse. But I have to put her in there and, you know, it cuts off half our living space because obviously that stuff needs to stay outside of cat hair and it just takes up the whole living area. So I'm upset because it's going to be there for a couple of days probably. This is going to take me, this is going to be a very finicky little, little by little project. And I was kind of hoping that with all the prep that I did before pouring it, that it was going to help me a lot. And it just really didn't. This is one of those things, no matter what you do, it seems like you have to fine tune it as you go. So I'm not terribly mad. I was like in a little bit of my heat. I was like, well, I'll just, I got three more hours left till the sun goes down. I'll just go down and do some laminate in the corners and stuff. And Kristen said, Matt, you know, you're just gonna go down there and screw the laminate up. Take, take big mama to the Blue Lagoon. And I said, fine, let's go to the Blue Lagoon. So we did it. We're here, so I got beets here. Pizza, and now we're eating my grapefruit in the mud. So cheers guys, grab yourself a beer. As long as it's not 8 a.m. I mean, if it's 8 a.m., do you? I don't judge. So uh -oh. we got we got buddies showing up. We got buddies. <laughs> We're just gonna chill here, have some beers, and we'll get back to work tomorrow, guys. Don't worry. Tomorrow, bright and early. You know, I still may sneak out of the house when she goes to bed and go down there and cut some laminates just to make now, sure I got. Now more. that we have lights. You know that I got lights, we can make sure we got more done. So that's the only thing is. You know, you want to get as much done as you can, but at the end of the day, you want to make sure you do it right. Good morning. All right, well, our sound quality is going to be sucked up now, guys. Life of the YouTuber. So, <laughs> we'll catch you next time. All right, guys, next day, Matt has already poured another layer on the countertops, and it's still coming out questionable. The sides are questionable, it has a little bit of a wobble, and it kind of... Did it fix it a little bit with the second pour? It helped a little. It helped a little, but it gave me some insights of what needs to be done to get it fixed completely, and I'm confident I'll be able to do that, but... Oh shoot, Big Doc's confident! I'm confident I'm going to be able to get it passable. I'm not definitely not confident I'm going to be able to get it what I assumed would be in my dreams, but I think I'm going to get it passable, and at the end of the day, I don't care. We're not turning back. We got our engine in, and we're running through more projects now. We're doing the best we can, but at the end of the day, that's all you can do. We're not professionals. I'm not an engineer. I'm not an architect. I'm a guy that just reads the instructions on the back of these products and grips it and rips it. So it's coming out pretty good so far, but, you know, it's not perfect, and it's not going to be. So Speaking about things that are not perfect and not I mean, maybe will be. <laughs> We're gonna go and laminate our boost locker. Let's finish that beast off. We have made the box. We have made the countertop now. It's almost being done. And now we just need to finish and laminate that section of the house. Boat. Boat house? Boat what house, let's do it. Let's get into it. and we took an inventory of our laminate and it looks as if we need more to finish the rest of this boat so let's just pray the store has it we gave them a call and they said they'll call us back so what do you think Matt do you think they got it they have it I hope if not you didn't finish the bulkhead so we're gonna have a whatever it's called a bumper of another color they don't got it, we, we got problems.
right guys, Matt made a blooper and now we have to recut our laminate. Do you want to tell them what happened, Matt? Or do you want me to let them know? <laughs> no, it's okay. I tell them a better version. Uh, I thought we could get away with a couple of seams, but I just, I was thinking about doing it a different way and that was not the way that we're going to do it. So. That's not a good way of telling the story. Basically, he cut the piece too small for the whole wrap around. Yeah, it's like an inch and a half on the bottom and like two inches on the side. So I'm going to burn about two and a half extra feet of laminate just to get that, not to have a seam on those two pieces. Seams are amateur. Seams are amateur. That's one thing we, we stand by here on GB. If you got seams, you ain't shit. You guys can see how calm the water is. There's no wind today. And let me tell you, it is hotter than the desert. And I, I, we're sweating and we're dying and we have an air conditioner on the boat and it's not good enough. Don't say we, I'm fine. Oh, okay. We all ain't college boys out here. <laughs> Great, you ready for the heat gun for the next curve wrap around? Do you think you got this in the bag? Oh, let do it. Oh, let do it. No one needs your side oh, smile right it. about now. It's time to get serious. Okay, sorry guys. I'm gonna get serious now and I'm ready for my heat gun bends. <laughs> I drank too much coffee today, so excuse me now if I go kind of crazy. It got late last night, so we now have the piece. We perfectly got it shaped, so high five to that, Matt. Great job. And now we're gluing it onto the booze locker. And today, already, Matt woke up super early, and he cut the piece for the wall that goes behind it. So we're about to see a wild transformation, but first, we gotta mask up, glove up, and start gluing. Let's do it. We doing the top or the bottom first? Tops or bottoms? Doesn't matter. Hashtag tops or bottoms. What do you guys think? Well, what do you want to do with the top or the bottom? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you say. I feel like this is like a really weird question and inappropriate. So I'm just going to say, let's get it going. Let's go tops. came out really good. We got the lights put back on and now it's time for the big glue and bend around the booze locker. Let's hope this goes as great as everything else has been going. Yep, we're about to be parappa the rapper and we're gonna have to wrap this thing around and get it glued. I think it's gonna go good. Hopefully we got enough glue. We're in the glue shortage of 2022 so hopefully we got enough and we can stretch it. Here we go.
So that was pretty crazy. We were running around with our heads cut off because we ran out of glue and then luckily I remembered we had other glue. We found the other glue, we slapped it on and then by the time we got it glued all the way around, somehow we had a little bit of extra material and it, we couldn't shove it in place. So Matt hurried up and started routing it and he did precision hand manual routering and it fit on. So it worked. We got it on. It glued around the corner. Everything looks pretty good. We do have to sand some more of the edges to get it to be pretty perfect. We might do that or we may, I may put, um, I might make a trim for it as well. The fridge is there so it's kind of a heavier spot. I'm, I might do trim for that but I might, I might leave it as well. I don't know. I'm going to do it best I can with just the edges. And then if it's something comes up burnt up or it ain't looking right, then I'll put the trim on there. But overall, I'm I'm ecstatic. This looks so good. Like the bin there and the bin there. This boy is. It feels fresh. good. This is our. This is like one of our homemade pieces of furniture that I came up with a design, and then we made you made it happen. For we me. came up with a booze locker. Right? So yeah, it's a much more efficient use of space. I'm really happy. We're gonna be able to put a strap in there and a, a tie down. But guys, sorry not to interrupt you, but. Let's put it in. We brought down the countertop that's not done yet, but it needs more layers, but we brought it down so we can show you guys a sneak peek. So we're gonna put the fridge in there and we're gonna put on the almost done countertop to get, you know, let's get that sneak peek of what the overall reveal is gonna look like. It still looks boo-boo because my electrical panel is all up and I have to well, Yeah, well that, just don't look at that part. Just kind of, yeah, use selective sight, selective vision. Wow! Boy, there it is. Our sides of our countertop still need to be done more, but open the lid, Matt. Open the booze locker. I don't know if I can get to the booze locker because I need a screw in it. Oh yeah, we still need handles. I got one right here though. Let me see. Oh, it's not aggressive enough. It's dirty in there right now with dust, but boom, that's where our booze goes. And you might wonder why we talk about our booze locker so often. It's because we're really proud of it. Okay, guys? Just imagine that's a cabinet later. Yeah, so eventually it's going to look like that. It, Kristen had a really good joke there for a second. It looked like a washing machine. Yeah, she was like, I don't know why, but it's just looking like a washing machine to me. And I said, yeah, it does look exactly like a washing machine. I said, oh, it's because of the, the triggers right there. The, the dials. The dials. We're going to put it on a maximum load. But if you put this here... I get less washing machine vibes from it. So we did it. We did, we're still gonna work on our countertops. We're gonna do that off camera though. That's gonna take a lot of tedious work. And we'll have to update you guys later. Obviously we're gonna make a whole video of our reveal and maybe we'll make a video about what we would do again, what maybe some things cost and that whole breakdown. And we'll really have to think about what we're gonna say about the countertop, epoxy countertops. It's just a matter of the way they promote what they do and what they don't do. I still have scoured the internet and I can't see a smooth white corner. Basically we took a premise and we took what they advertise that it can do and I said okay well if it can do that with my skills and talents I can really make something incredible out of it and that has not necessarily been the case for me. So I don't think that what we're trying to do is really something that's more easily done. Um, I think the swirls and all that crazy stuff that they put on it is probably 10 times easier to do than just a flat shiny white. So um, those would bury a lot of imperfections and things like that. So, so well, we'll think about it when we're finally done. I'm yeah, sorry. we'll see. We'll see what, we, what I got to come up with to get it done. But I'm really excited because I'm almost done with all this lamination. I know we all love Larry Laminato out there and, you know, he's my dog. But, but we got to put him to rest. <laughs> it, you know, it's just, it's dusty, it's dirty. This is a really tight space, so it's a nightmare to do stuff in. Um, some of these pieces were pretty big, so I only have one more wall to do here with this big crazy cut that I have to put on. And then a little bit more in the kitchen, but that's going to be it. We're going to be closing the door on Larry Laminato pretty soon, and Epoxy Earl is going to be done pretty soon. <laughs> So once we're off of that, 
And those things should go pretty quick because I don't think we're going to film any more of them, hopefully. But I say that now, but we probably will because... No, we never know what's going to happen. we got to make a video every week. We could take a couple weeks off and not show you all more lamination or we can come up with a video every week. So it's up to y'all. Let me know in the comments. No, I'm doing what I want to do. Sorry, guys. I'm making a video every week. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really proud that we made our very own furniture piece from our own design to finishing it off and... The booze locker will forever have a big place in my heart, so pretty proud of this piece. It matches the other pieces, and I just can't wait for this boat to be done, guys. Hit, hit thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think, if you guys can't wait for it to be done. Also, obviously, we all probably can't wait for it to be done, but we're almost there. Fabric came in, so I'll be sewing those up soon. Got to figure that out. I want lush lush cushions and you guys remember that Matt has his special pullout bed so I have to make a special cushion just for that so wish me luck on that and that's about it guys make sure you check out our teespring we have some cool shirts over there you could represent us and also check out our patreon we've been doing update videos over there so you can see our projects ahead of time you can give us some advice Matt responds to every single message mostly I think right I respond to every single message for sure, yeah. Yeah, I'm so if you want to get ASAP right to Matt, he'll be there. And we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go check and see, make sure Hurricane ain't coming on my phone as soon as I leave here. And, you know, pray for us. Fingers crossed, no canes. And then, uh, I yeah. I think we need a day off. We're going to be ripping it. We're going to work all day tomorrow, and then we're going to take Friday off. Okay. We're right, taking guys. one day off this week, so. Any choices on what we should do, let us know. Bye.